Hi everyone, so the solution to the last day's question would be So here you see that a shopkeeper offers a discount of 20% on the marked price of an item. If he sells the item for 3200 after allowing the discount, he incurs a loss of 20%. What was the original mark price of the item? Okay, so what do you know? You know that mark price is X, for example. Okay, then what do you know? That a discount of 40% has been offered. So when you know that a discount of 40% of is offered, what do you know is the selling price? Selling price is 4x by 5, right? Point 0.8 of x, right? So if he sells the item for 3200 after allowing the discount, so even before going to the next option, you know that uh, this has to be equal to 3200, right? What was the original mark price of the item? So basically, you just have to solve for x, right? So that would be x is equal to 5 multiplied by 3200 by 4. So, what would that be? That would be 4000. So, good job uh, on this. All of you have uh, done a really good job. I saw that you have done uh, mostly correct answers. Now, let us jump straight into solving uh, the questions for Catflix episode 2. So, today what are we going to do? We are going to do questions on Simple interest and compound interest. Okay. So today's concept would be simple interest and compound interest. Here are your formulae. So you know that simple interest is equal to principal into rate multiplied by time divided by 100. And B, C, D are just three different ways of writing the same thing. Then you have compound interest. What exactly is compound interest? The first formula you can see that it's principal multiplied by one plus R multiplied by N divided by 100 to the power N minus one. Okay. And uh, then you have all these different formulas, right? So just remember that amount is equal to principal plus compound interest, right? So uh, what you need to do is first you need to get the amount, right? So what is the formula for amount? It's principal multiplied by 1 plus r divided by 100 into t, uh, exponent of t, right? So that's what you have to do. And then you just figure out the compound interest by, multiply, uh, by subtracting principal from your amount, right? And these are some different uh, extra use cases that you might have because not always you will be getting the uh, compounding to be annual. You might get semi-annual compounding, you might get quarterly compounding or even monthly compounding. So in that case, what would be the number of corresponding periods, right? So as I said, it's 1 plus R n by 100 and not just R by 100. So when it's compounded annually, your n is 1. When it's compounded semi-annually, your n is 2 and so on, right? So again, you can just uh, pause this video for a while and take a screenshot of this or note anything down if you would like to. Uh, now we'll jump straight into the questions. So the first question for today is, uh, John borrowed rupees 2,10,000 from a bank at an interest rate of 10% per annum, compounded annually. The loan was repaid in two equal installments, the first one, first year after one year and the second after another year. The first installment was interest of one year plus part of the principal amount while the second was rest of the principal amount plus due interest thereon. Okay, then each installment is rupees what? So this is a TETA question and this had appeared in CAT 20, 2018 slot 1. So don't be afraid of this. Uh, the jargon used, uh, used here is slightly tough but the question essentially is not that tough. Okay, so let us dive right into how we can solve this right you have money borrowed first of all right so what is the money borrowed it is two lakh ten thousand right and after that it says uh you have ten percent interest after one year right so what is interest basically so basically your amount gets multiplied by 1.1. So that's a simple rule that I was telling you uh, last day, right? So uh, whenever you have 5%, 10%, don't actually do that calculation. Do a 1.05 or 1.1 and so on, right? So your amount after 10% of interest would be 
one point one multiplied by two lakh ten thousand. So that would be two lakh thirty one thousand. Okay. Now next, <coughs> imagine that your first installment is one. Uh, first installment is x. Okay. So you can say first installment is equal to x. And suppose you paid x, then what is the remaining payment left? So your due is two lakh thirty one thousand minus x, right? And once you have done this, uh, what is remaining? So your first year is over. Now time for second year. So what is the rule again? Again, you have ten percent of interest. Now this time on the due amount. So what is the uh, what is the amount this time? So it's one point one multiplied by two lakh thirty one thousand minus x. Right. So this is the due amount. Now it said that uh, you are fully making the payment in the second year, and it has been equally paid in two installments, right? So what can we understand from this? We can just equate these two equations. We can say that this first installment over here is equal to this one. Basically, x is equal to one point one multiplied by two lakh thirty one thousand minus one point one of x. So this would be 2.1x is equal to uh, 231,000 divided by, in, multiplied by 1.1. Next, you just need to solve for x. So if you solve this equation, basically, you can either, uh, it's, it's good if you actually do the multiplication by yourself, you do the 231 uh, multiplied by 11 and then you divide it by 2 and try to get it. Otherwise, you can also use the on-screen calculator. So the amount which comes up is 1,21,000. So that is your installment. So that's your answer. Okay. Next, um, the question number two, that is also a theta question. So it is Gopal borrows rupees X from Ankit at 8% annual interest. He then adds rupees Y of his own and lends rupees X plus Y to Ishan at 10% annual interest. At the end of the year, after returning Ankit's dues, the net interest retained by Gopal is the same as that accrued to Ankit. On the other hand, had Gopal lent uh, X plus 2Y to Ishan at 10%, then the net interest retained by him would have increased by 150. So if all the interests are compounded annually, then find the value of X plus Y. Again, this is a theta question and it, has, it had uh, come in CAT 2018 slot 2, right? So let us uh, <coughs> try to solve this. So first of all, uh, whenever you're solving questions like this, right, it's always good that you kind of either try to visualize this on your mind or you draw a diagram of your own. So imagine that Gopal is here, not right in detail, say Gopal is here. And here you have Ankit and here you have Ishan, okay? Now Gopal has taken money from Ankit, let that be X, and the interest rate is 8%. Okay, and what has Gopal given to Ishan? He has lent X plus Y at 10% of interest, right? <laughs> so now you have been given one equation, right? That at the end of the year, after returning Ankit's dues, the net interest retained by Gopal is the same as that accrued to Ankit. So what does that mean? What is the net interest retained by Gopal? First of all, what is the interest that uh, Gopal is getting from Ishan? So he is getting uh, 10 by 100 multiplied by x plus y. This is the interest that he is getting. But he also has to pay uh, 8x by 100 right, to uh, Ankit. So what is the net amount that he's retaining? This is the net amount that he's retaining. So basically that is 2x by 100 plus 10y by 100. Okay. So I'm not reducing these two minimum functions because uh, we have to do a lot of other uh, uh, 
uh, equations and all right so i'm not reducing it right now so after this your next step uh what is the next step it's it said that uh it is equal okay so what is the interest accrued by ankit it is 8x by uh, 8x by 100 as you know so you can directly equate this so now what can you solve you can solve that uh 6x by 100 is equal to 10y by 100 okay so basically 6x is equals to 10y and now you can reduce it to the lowest fractions so you can say x is equal to so if we divide both sides if we divide both sides by uh, 2 we can say 3x is equals to 5y okay we can say this now what is the next part had uh, gopal lent x plus 2y to ishan then the interest accrued would be 150 more okay so just try to do this mentally right so if you give x plus 2y to ishan uh, what would be the change right what would be the change the only change would be here right the only change would be here so in that case uh, how can you solve this equation so uh, let us go here okay so you can say that uh, the difference would be 2x by 100 plus uh, basically your last one was y by 10 basically right so here it would be 2y by 10 or basically 20y by 100 so that's the only difference because you have lent 2y so 20y by 100 minus 2x by 100 minus 10y by 100 so you get 10y by 100 is equals to 150 so cancelling everything you get y is equals to 1500 now you remember the equation that you had right you have got 3x is equals to 5y then what is x x is 5 multiplied by 1500 divided by 3 that would be basically um 2500 so what is your x plus y x plus y is 1500 plus 2500 which is 4000 okay so that's your solution this was uh i won't say this is very tough but then this would definitely take some time so choose your order accordingly uh so the homework question for today is a sum of money is invested at a compound interest of 12% per annum. After three years, the amount becomes 25,000. If the same sum is invested at a simple interest of 10% per annum for two years, what will be the difference between the compound interest and the simple interest earned? Okay, so try solving this. Uh, let us know just like in the last video. Uh, just let us know in the chat, right? And keep practicing. Um, I'm sure you'll all uh, crack cat with flying colors. Okay, see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.